Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another 8-inch Mego style action figure. And this is made by Figures Toy Company. And the subject is the uh, Daredevil Evil Knievel. And um, this has a very nostalgic feel to me, uh, basically because uh, as I was growing up, um, uh, Evil Knievel was always sort of a presence uh, attempting different stunts and stuff like that. So uh, this was back uh, in the 1970s, uh, sort of late 70s, is when I became aware of uh, his activities. Um, so, and he was very kind of like uh, dramatic in terms of the way he dressed and he would often uh, either ride a motorcycle or I think he, he had like some kind of rocket thing uh, when he um, jumped over Snake River Canyon. Uh, I don't remember the specifics of it, but I know he ended up in the Guinness Book of World Records as having the most bones broken in a lifetime because he would often get in these really uh, tragic uh, wrecks and he'd come out alive, but uh, basically very injured. So um, so as much as he was known for successful uh, jumps, he was also known for these uh, uh, tragic accidents in the process of doing these uh, daredevil stunts. So uh, I think uh, Figures Toy Company did a really good job in terms of, uh, you know, capturing um, some of the excitement of Evil Knievel. You can see he passed away in 2007, so he's no longer with us. Uh, but you can see, uh, you know, some pictures of him jumping on his motorcycle, uh, him posing in the same gear uh, that you see uh, depicted in the action figure, and then another um, of his jumps. So... Uh, Pretty exciting, and you can see this was produced in 2019. So uh, let's get this out of the package, and I want to give you a, a good close-up of uh, what the head sculpt looks like and the outfit. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we have Evil Knievel out of the package. And as you can see, the, the detail on um, his outfit is really quite nice. I think they just did a fantastic job uh, with this. And you can see on the back of the cape also has some detail on the back. Uh, stitching is really uh, well done and I just uh, really kind of appreciate all the attention to detail they did on this uh, of course it comes with this cane accessory which is something that Evil King was uh, known for having and you'll notice uh, there's a little bit of a bell-bottom kind of effect on the pants too it's actually quite nice bell-bottoms were very popular in the 1970s and uh, Evil Knievel had that as a feature on some of his outfits and uh, you can see the helmet uh, comes off and on by, you basically can split the lower part away, uh, which allows you to lift it over the head. And so that allows a easy sort of removal and getting back on there. And you can see uh, close up on the head sculpt, I think they did a decent job. It kind of looks like him. It's not a perfect uh, rendering of him, but it, it's not bad. I think, I think it looks all right. So uh, Really kind of excited to have this in my collection. And this is one of the ones that I've not upgraded um, with a modern Mego body. Uh, actually, the joints on this seem pretty good. Um, so I'm not going to attempt to do the upgrade on it. In fact, the head actually seems pretty firmly attached to the torso. And all the articulation seems pretty solid. And because of the tightness of this uniform, it actually helps uh, kind of hold things together quite nicely. So everything seems pretty good, so I don't, I don't think it's going to be necessary to ever do an upgrade on this, because uh, it seems quite good just the way it is. That's pretty much all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see uh, more uh, figures from Figures Toy Company, stay tuned to the channel, because I will be reviewing all of the uh, figures that I have from them in my collection in the future. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day, and thanks for watching.